Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This one is very work focused this week. I really didn't film much other than the projects I was working on. So I'm going to take you through each piece that I worked on this week. I ended up getting three done, uh, one I had already started and finished, and then two start to finish. So that's a pretty good week. A quick reminder to subscribe if you like what you see around here and let's get to it. So we are at the final steps of this painting right now and I'd always had the idea for this border frame area to do metallic watercolors but now that we're here I'm really nervous about choosing a color for that also for the detailing in the hair there's a lot of like wide spots those are always going to be metallic as well so what I'm gonna do I have two activating right now you just put a little bit of water on there for about 30 or 45 seconds and then I'm going to swatch them on basically a piece of paper, kind of cut out the swatches and like place them on the piece just to really get an idea of which color is going to look best because I am indecisive and I'm very afraid of ruining this, <laughs> but I'm going to get that done and see what I think. Okay, so these are dry now. I had the crazy idea also, after I'd stopped filming, to swatch out some gold to test potentially as a really fun contrast color that would be for the detail pieces in the hair and up here in the hair, but we'll see about that. Um, but I wanted to show you the color shift on these, uh, not the gold, but the others, because it is so beautiful. So when we tilt this way, you get the full blue and purple. And then when we shift this way, you get the green. And like, it's just so pretty. It's just such a good color shift. I love it. I love it. I actually think the like green teal to purple is going to be a little bit more fitting for the piece. There's so much blue in the orchids that to bring in a little bit more green to this would be... I think beneficial for it as opposed to a color that shifts blue so I'm probably gonna go with that I'm still gonna cut out my little strips and kind of just test and see what I think with a vague a vague mock-up <laughs> but I think I'll be going with that and then it will just be deciding on what color I end up making the hair clip detailing like the the metal pieces that clip into the hair so I'll keep you posted so I may have forgotten to keep you posted, but after doing my tests, cutting out my little swatches to put them on the piece, I did decide to use the gold for the hair ring detailing because the contrast was just great and I really, really liked it. And I went with the teal and purple color shift metallic for the border. And that's what I'm working on now. I ended up doing two coats of each of the metallics just to ensure that the color was really opaque and there were no like patchy looking areas once it dried down and it was super successful. And then I just had to do line work around the whole thing, which was very scary, but I think I pulled it off. <laughs> all finished I am really really pleased with how it came out this thing is actually wildly obnoxious to photograph though because the colors just do not show up right even in video they're better but they're not great <laughs> but it is what it is I have to show you guys the metallic on this because it turned out so well editing K here I'm actually gonna insert a clip from my twitch stream to show you the metallic shine uh, duochrome nature because I think it looks way better on the twitch stream than the footage I had filmed for it <laughs> that teal to purple is just oh, chef's kiss but yeah she's all done I'm super excited first large for me scale gouache painting complete
second piece that I worked on this week was some fan art, a character from Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which is the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest. I just finished playing through both of those games on stream, and this frog heat character named Quolok was just so wonderful, such a good character in the second game, and I had to paint him. It was another round of gouache practice. Um, I tried to be a little bit less... Uh, I guess less smooth with my gouache this time. I didn't, I tried to let my brush strokes show a bit more and not make everything quite as smoothly blended as I did in the previous painting I worked on. And I think that was pretty successful. Overall, I was really happy with the gouache work. This was also my first time working on the tan toned paper. This is Strathmore tan tone mixed media paper. I really like Strathmore mixed media paper in general, so I figured this would be good. And it is. Worked really great with the paint, not too much bend, could take a lot of gouache and ink at the bottom, which was nice. Overall, I was really happy with how the gouache work turned out in this piece. Um, I feel like I'm still kind of learning my way with gouache and learning my style with gouache in comparison to my comfortability level with other mediums, but I'm really, really liking it and this was just further good practice. I was a bit less satisfied with the line work I added to this. I used ink and I'm not sure that was a great idea over the gouache. I'm also just not the most skilled with brush line work still, so I don't dislike the piece. I'm still really happy with it, but I was definitely not thrilled with the line work once I added it. Here is the finished froggy piece, the character Qualog from the second Ori game, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I, okay, so I'm really happy with the gouache aspect of this piece. The line work in this piece was frustrating, and I don't know if it's because I used ink over gouache, which maybe wasn't the best idea, or if it's just because I still feel like my line work leaves a lot to be desired when I do it. So I think that's something I might try and put a little bit more focus on working with this year is just kind of establishing what I like for line work and kind of refining that a little bit more. But Froggy's finished and I am happy with him. All done. And the last piece I worked on this week was a secret surprise for a friend's birthday, but they have received it so I can talk about it now. I actually recorded pretty much nothing other than what you're seeing here, some laying in of the like ink bleed background. So if you want the full scoop on this piece, check out my Patreon. I'll be doing a full process post for it and you can see how it came about then, but I will show you the finished product here in just a moment. This was a really fun piece to create of a guitarist of a band that we both really like, so it was super fun to do, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I didn't actually set up to film while I was working on this piece, but I whipped this up for a friend's birthday. A little piece of Tim Henson, the guitarist, or a guitarist from Polyphia, a band that both this friend and I really enjoy. So I made a little birthday piece for them, and I hope they love it. It was super fun to work on all my classic favorites of ink bleeds, and I've got some shiny metallic I worked into the background ink bleeds, which is nice, gives the whole thing a little bit of a shimmer. Some nice gold detailing in the horns. Horns, of course, because I just can't resist. Super fun. And that is everything I worked on this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little week of work vlog. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, my friends. Be well. Until next time.